saccharin is bitter and what we're trying to do is make it sweet. It's bitter because of the nitrogen and hydrogen bonds. Uh, if, we, if we're able to do a nitrogen carbon bond, it'll become sweet. So what we're trying to do is take iodoethane and sodium saccharin and DMF. And because we're using DMF, we'll have two products, an ethyl saccharin or o ethyl saccharin. Today we're doing the reaction of iodoethane with sodium saccharin in an ambient nucleophile. We start by carrying out the reaction under the hood. We weigh out 10 millimoles of uh, the sodium saccharin and we add 5 mil of the dimethyl and 4 mil dye in the 125 millimol uh, Hermione flex. So we add it. At this point, we will take the mixture and heat it in a uh, 80 degrees Celsius water bath with swirling until the solid has dissolved, and then we will add. 0.80 milliliter of iodoethane using a dispenser of it or an automatic pipette. Once the solids is dissolved, we'll be adding 0.8 milliliters of iodoethane. Just tell me when you're dropping it in. Yeah. And then covering with paraffin. And leaving it in the water bath for 10 minutes. Don't forget to swirl every couple of minutes. At this point, we're going to take it out of the bath, set it on the table, and let it cool down to room temperature before we put it into our ice bath right here. While it's sitting on the table, make sure you take off your parafilm, and then you add 40 ml of water into the mixture, which will cause it to stir, and you continue to stir it to room temperature before we put it into the ice bath. Put in the reaction in some ice water to let it cool down. Until it is a solid ethane turn. It's been cooled down in the ice water bath. We'll use a glass stirring rod to break it up and evenly divide the solid. Once that's done, we'll do a back infiltration. And we're using a two five milliliter portion of water to rinse it off. <laughs> Make sure you tear the scale with the container when we put in the participant in. Uh, we're now 
taken the melting point of our product to find out whether we have the an ethyl saccharin product or the O ethyl saccharin product. After you've measured the melting point at this point, you will take your precipitate and you will find your nearest professor who will take your NMR spectra for you. As always, make sure you clean up your station. There are two possible products, the N-ethyl saccharide and the O-ethyl saccharide. Uh, we assumed that we got the N because we used a water bath and heated it up. The O product would be kinetic because O is more electronegative. On our H and the Mars spectrum, this is what we got. Uh, in this region right here, we had a multiplet. And the chemical shift goes between 7.8 and 8.2. In this region, we got a quartet, and the chemical shift was 4.5 to 5. Then we come down to here to another quartet, 3.7 to 4.1. And then one multiplet at 1.4 to 1.9. Our melting point was about between 94 and 97 degrees, and an ethosaccharide melting point is 95 degrees.